Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've made an actual well-edited video, so I want to go back to doing that because that's I enjoy doing that too. And this video is a pretty exciting video because we're going to be making some interesting stuff, as you can see right here. And before starting the video, I really want to give a big thanks to Captain Nemrak for helping me a lot with the uh, creation of NSP files. Uh, he was really, really helpful uh, with getting the patch DLL files, overall having a ton of patience, and teaching me probably everything I know about this. He does some pretty interesting stuff on his channel, including a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate uh, stream where he showed off a pretty interesting Switch app. Uh, and he does some Splatoon 2 content and stuff like that. And I think you should all go check him out, and we'll see if we can get him to at least 200 subscribers. It's possible. I believe in you. I also want to give a big thanks to this tutorial right here. This is what taught me how to do it. The uh, Creatable SDK tutorial, so that will be linked in the description. Uh, I'm basically just following this, but as a video. Alright, so now I'm on the computer. This is what you'll need. You will need an EXEFS and ROMFS of the app that you want to build. In this case, it's dev menu, which you can find with some Googling. And you also need Metatool GUI and Metatool.exe, which will be linked in the description. All right, so now that you have those, you also want to have authoring tool from the SDK. The path should be Nintendo SDK slash tools slash authoring editor slash authoring tool. This is very important. You need some edited DLL files, which you uh, need to edit yourself or find them somewhere, but they're not leaked at this moment. So inside of the authoring tool folder, you'll need to have an edited cryptolibrary.dll file. Inside of the authoring editor folder, you'll need to have a content archive library.dll file and a cryptolibrary.dll file, same one as in authoring tool. And then go back up to tools, command line tools, and then authoring tool right here. And you want to edit cryptolibrary.dll and content archive library.dll. Uh, they need to be each the same. I'll put the hashes on the screen in uh, while I'm editing. So you can check the hash and make sure that you have the right file, because if you don't, you will break your switch. So that's a fair warning, I hope. Oh great, amazing. The uh, OBS decided to die while I was recording this. So I guess I'm re-recording or something. Okay, this app is called, well, this app is actually authoringeditor.exe, and uh, I just launched it and hit create a new end meta file. I set application ID to this, it can be anything you want it to as long as it's not something that's already being used. You can find the title ID list in the Switch Brew website, I'll link that in the description. And I just like to set mine to uh, 01000000000, and then uh, 111, the number of the file that I'm making, this is the seventh NSP file that I make, and then just zeros. Version notation can be anything that it lets you input. You can't put spaces, but you can put periods and stuff, so I just put indeed. Logo data, just which logo it displays, either licensed by Nintendo or Nintendo when it's booting. Legal info.zip, I'll cover that in a second. You set all the languages to support it if you're going to release this NSP file. If not, you can just set your own language. And then title, you're just going to add title. Uh, type in the title you want, publish your name, whatever. And your file needs to be a 1024 by 1024 BMP file that is saved as 24-bit. You can set the uh, format in paint.net when you're saving, so I, I'd recommend to use that. It also needs to be in the same uh, folder as authoringtool.exe, and that's all you need. After that, you can just hit save as, and save it as meta meta for the purposes of this tutorial. So right here I have a legal info.zip file. This will be left in the description. You can go over and extract all files over to the uh, whatever folder you want. So what I've done here is I just have a little template right here uh, where I can have the text of the video. For example, uh, here I'm porting some uh, Kumu music. So I'll say inside the castle walls. And then I'll have the video name right here. So castle.mp4. You can see that it's right here in the same folder as index.html. And then I'll just go and copy and paste this on two more lines, and then replace it with the video names. So, Delfino Plaza. I'll put Delfino there, and then here I'll put Dusty Garden. 
So now that the index.html file is done, we can just hit, we can just hit Control S and have it saved, and then it will be modified right here. When that's ready, we can go over to the legal info folder, select both of these, and then hit send to compress zip folder and call it legal info.zip. Make sure inside, when you go inside, there's this. There's no legal info folder, just these. And then once you have that, you can just go over to the authoring editor right here, go up to legal information, hit change, browse and then go over to your legal info.html. Now you're done with the authoring editor, though I would recommend keeping it up so that you can see the application ID, since we'll need that in a second. Now what we need to do is get the exefs and romfs working. So let's go over to the folder and check that out. All right, so copy romfs and exefs, hit control C on that, then go to the folder. Oh my God, Windows Explorer is being so dumb. I don't know what happened to it, it just broke. So go to the right folder and then hit Control V, and there they are, authoring tool.exe right here. We're in the right folder. See, it just does that. It just loads, but it doesn't load anything, and the icons don't appear, and half of this is missing. I don't know. It's just completely broken for some reason. I don't even have Homebrew inside of my computer. I can just click it and it does nothing. I don't know what's wrong. Well, anyhow, now that we have the meta.meta file, we will need a .desc file. And to get that, we need to patch our mpdm file with our title ID. So let's do that. Open up hxd. There it is. Make sure this is set to little endian and show integers in hexadecimal base. Let's make that a bit smaller. Actually, let's just make this window bigger. And then you're just going to go over to your main.mpdm file, the one that's inside of the authoring tool folder, and drag it into hxd. You'll see this. Don't worry, nothing is wrong. It's normal. Go to where you see SEO, not acid, SEO. And then go down the line from that. You'll see the dev menu title ID. We want to replace that with our own title ID, the one that we put in here. So it will be. Uh, 01000000117000000 000 000 000 000 000 000. There's a little there's a little issue mpdm files are completely messed up and they do everything backwards So we're gonna have to account for that Right here. Let's just pull it up All right right there I just pulled it up and what we need to do is start typing from back from the back so 00, zero. Zero, zero. But then you'll notice, well, but then you need to know that each group of numbers, each group of two numbers, is flipped. So right here, instead of writing 7, 1, as we would if we were writing backwards, we'll write 1, 7. So 1, 7. And then just 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then instead of 1, 0, we type 0, 1. And then hit Control S. So now that that's done, all we need to do is open up the GUI and convert this file. The GUI being MetaTool GUI right here. So convert mpdm to desk, and then open up the mpdm file we modified inside of the authoring tool folder. So right here, exefs mpdm. And then save it in the authoring tool folder as main.desk. Wait a little bit for it to be done, and then hit the X. And now we're basically done with uh, the first part. And now all we need to do is convert it to NSP. How do we do that? Using authoring tool. So I'll provide a commands in the description, but what you need to do is go over to the authoring tool folder, then open up a command line here, so CMD, and then copy this CD into that, and then just type the command. And now uh, in the command that we'll type, we'll just make it meta one dot and meta. This is main dot description remove the NSP, and then the rest is just, you don't need to worry about. Hit enter, and then if you did it right, it will just output that. If you didn't, because that, that was wrong, then it, it will give you that, and you'll know that you did something wrong. So anyways, if it does output that, it'll go back to your authoring tool folder. Hacking infinite green bar, what is wrong with that? Just hit the X. Okay, and then reload and you'll see that you have all these files.
right click them, open them with Notepad++, and then we're going to search for a few things, this is really important, else you can break your system. So you want to search for encryption type 3, and I'd just like to immediately replace, and replace in all open documents. So you'll see four occurrences were replaced. And then we're just going to search for hardware, find in all open documents, and you'll see one or two, in this case one. And then you go over to that and hit it, and make it false. Now save everything. Yes, save. Done. So now that these files are edited, we can now make the NSP. To do that, you'll just type authoring tool, create NSP, and then the NSP name. So I'll just call this one Kumu dot NSP dot ADF. This has to be the same name that we used before, right here. Space uh, hyphen O and then Kumu dot NSP. This is the output file. Hit enter and then hopefully it will work and not give you any errors. If it did, then you might not be able to build this file. Go back to the authoring tool folder, you'll see a kumu.nsp. Now we need to make sure that this NSP is not corrupted, is not done with the wrong DLLs, and just that it will work. So with All right, now that our NSP is built, all we need to do is check if it's working. So what I did is type hacktool.exe, negative T, PFS0, and then just show the directory where I want it extracted, in this case just a human directory, and then the NSP file that we built. Hit enter. If it says saving some stuff, then that means you did it right. But just to be sure, we want to try to decrypt the NCA files, just to make sure that they can be decrypted. So type this, hacktool.exe, negative T, NCA, negative negative K, and then your keys. Make sure that they're the retail key, and then romfs dir to the directory where you want them extracted. Then just drag an NCA file onto CMD. There we go. And if it says saving some files, that means that you did it right. So now that we have the NSP built, and we know that it worked, that it's working, all we need to do is install it to our switch. So let's go over and do that. Anyhow, I just copied the NSP file right here. It was not copied properly, being my stupid SD reader. And then you can reboot it into RCM mode and inject payload. Launch firmware and see you on the switch. And let's go into developer menu and just install the NSP file that we've created. So it should be called kumu.nsp. System memory, start. Now if you did anything wrong right here, your switch will break. So make sure you do have a NAND backup with the BIS keys. Install completed, close, go back to the home menu, then close dev menu, and you'll see your app appear. If you go here to support information, you'll see the HTML file that we created, and you can just click on anything, and it will play the music. 